let's understand about javascript part there are two kind of javascript part client side and second is server side what is the difference between client side scripting and server side scripting is client side scripting is visible at browser you can see those code right when you do view page source you will be able to see those code server side scripting is written at the server side so you are not able to see it on the website itself what i'm saying is this is my website let's say this one right if i do right click and i'll say uh, view page source actually i'm able to see all the code behind this um, website correct there is no script here right but if there is any any script you will be able to see it okay so for example let's open any random website test.techlib.in if it will get open i'll show you something uh, no it's not opening just a minute just a minute i'll open some other website let's say erail.in okay so this is a website if i do right click and say view page source i'm able to see some script also see here it's saying a script and there are some functions so i'm able to see their code but don't worry they are not exposing important details it's like they want to perform something they want to perform some detail okay so very simple example is um when you want to do something without providing some details so for example let's say facebook registration page right when you have uh, facebook registration page this is opening but any registration page if you forget to put um some detail right it it says you that you have to do something so for example let's say sign in i am clicking here right and if i click on the next see here it's saying sorry we don't recognize this email address all right or sometimes it will say you that uh put your what do we say username or email right it will say you so this kind of script maybe it's not going to the server and then saying this message right otherwise what will happen yahoo will be yahoo server will get very much busy that see there are thousands of people who will be doing this thing like clicking on the next without putting the email and their server will get busy correct to just handle this part so what 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 they can do is they can put client side scripting for simple things like when user is not providing it then this error is handled at the browser itself client side itself right so what we have to do for our example is we have to um, do something on click so there is a way to do something on click so button and i will say on click okay on click on click i'll be calling a function okay so i'll say on click um, i'll say on click get user something like this get user and bracket so this is like i'm calling a function okay and semicolon on click get user but then you have to define what is get user okay so this is user defined function i am giving the name you can give any name get xyz get usr anything you can put okay but then i'm saying get user so i have to write some script then i have to write script so how to write the script the question is how to write the script then if you see view page source here they have written script see here script starting here script ending here right in the same way we can also write the script so we can start script that's it closing it and then here i'm i have to write something right so i have to define this function so don't don't get upset or you know if you are not able to understand this don't worry 
because once you will learn javascript right and we we are going to learn in coming days and i'm talking about this part like once you will reach here learn it line by you know chapter by chapter it will be very easy for you right and if you have done some kind of programming earlier it's you can understand we are calling this function so what we can write function same name get user bracket and here we want to do something okay so as of now just to check whether i am able to call this function or not i will write console.log console.log is like printing right so here i am saying hi just hard coding it hard coding it okay so let's see whether this is working or not so i'll go or i will simply right click again and say open in default browser and if I put it some detail here, I put JKL and clicking on the submit, nothing has happened because what we have done is we have not shown it, right? We have done console.log. So console.log is a kind of log which is which will be there in the background, right? So how to see that? Right click here, say inspect here is a console option okay in your browser you have console option to go to the console see here it's showing me hi nitish i'm repeating what i have done so do it with me everyone whoever is seeing this video do it with me what we did we created a button something like this okay button type is equals to button on click get user the name of the text this is just text whatever you will put it will show as it is then what we did is in this we created a tag script end of the script function get user and we are saying console.log hinitish okay saving it if i change it to high testology save it go here refresh this and click on the submit so this is high testology is coming only when you click on the submit okay it's not coming every you know every time so see here it's saying three times four times you hit it okay so but our purpose our you know what we wanted to do is we want to get that user okay whatever user will put it here all right basically basically we want to get this value correct whatever user is putting here and then once we submit it it should say hi john okay what we have to do we have to on click we should capture this value right so let's google it again Google it. How to get value from the text box? How to get value from text box in HTML? Basically, it's like DOM dot get element by ID, document dot get element by something. Some a unique identifier should be there, right? So this is the way to get the value. This is like setting the value we want to get the value so that is fine so what we want to do is that's why identifying the element is important see we want to capture exactly this text box not the age one right we want to capture this one so first thing is we have to put some unique identification to this correct so what we will do is in the text box, let's make some ID here. ID is equals to uname, something like this, okay? Which is not visible in the user interface. The thing is, it's a background part. This is like we have given identification to a element. Now the people who are already doing automation some in some other language, they will be able to understand that to identify any element why id classes and all is mentioned because 
we want to identify those things uniquely and we want to get those values somewhere right that's why uh, this is important so you you will see id class name right those things now if it has id already what i can do here is on click i will get this value and store it somewhere so i'll say let x is equals to this okay how cool this is i can simply say let x is equals to document dot get element by id and in console.log height astrology it's fine let's print another line so i will say hi but this time i'll say hi plus x so this is like what i'm saying is see the value so so how to get any element it's like document dot get element by id so there are a lot of other functions also we are using get element by id which one you name so id was what was that you name so you should write you name okay here it will be you name save it and let's run this now right click open default browser and i'll put it here let's say johnny and let's open console also so we are opening the console and I, once I hit submit, see here what's what's happening. It's saying hi testology, hi Johnny. Fine, but this is showing in console. This is not our assignment. Our assignment was it should show in the website UI itself. But the good part is we are able to do it. We are we are able to get the value right. So it's not difficult to show in the web page now, right? So. To show in the web page, um, we have to create a label, right? So we'll say label ID is equals to welcome message. You can give anything, right? I'm just giving welcome message. ID is welcome message. And now we want to set the value, right? It's very simple. So what we will do is we'll say document dot get element by value now we are setting the value so we'll say it should be welcome user uh, plus plus x got it so what we are doing is this time we are setting the value so we'll say this value should be this right i don't know whether this will work or not I'm also not, you know, expert in HTML, CSS, JavaScript. The thing is, I know the basic part that, you know, this should happen. I remember some syntax only. Let's see whether this will work or not. So refresh this. And this time, let's say, Johnny, submit it here. So this is happening here. Welcome user, Johnny. This is a mistake, right? We want to show it in another level. So here it should be this welcome message my bad here it should be document dot get element by id and value should be this okay let's refresh this and let's give johnny here again clicking on the submit nothing is happening don't know why no worries so here let's put some first check whether that message is here or not so let me write welcome okay and let's put the br elements here so default value is well welcome but then we want to change it okay just a minute okay saving this let's refresh it ah welcome is coming see here welcome is there but when i do journey and i click on submit nothing is happening right it should say welcome uh john so it's i think inner html not value setting it's like dot inner html and then it should be welcome user plus x okay i'll refresh this and this time when you say johnny submit it here it's saying welcome user johnny how you know it's dynamic so if I'll put it Nitesh here, 
And if I click on the submit, it's saying welcome user Nitesh is working. Okay. So this is the way we are doing. So we are creating our own website. You can do you know, different things. You put your photo. When you click on your photo, something should happen. When you click on your photo, hover over it, some change in the background should color should happen. You can add some video. You can do anything. If you are learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you can do a lot of things, whatever you see in a website, right? Those things are possible. So agenda for today is done. I am taking some questions from the chat window first. Somebody has asked what extension you have installed in Visual Studio to get this HTML IntelliSense. It's by default. I did not install anything, but uh, you can. So the thing is, you have to create the HTML doc in this way, right? So once you do exclamation mark, you will be able to get it. So I'm showing it again for the people who joined lately. If I say I'm creating another file, 03 dot um, practice dot HTML. Once I create it, if I put exclamation mark and hit enter, you know, all these things will come automatically and then IntelliSense will also come. So IntelliSense is about like it will get to know automatically like you know what are the things you are going to put okay so let's say if i put it here input so it's going it's showing me automatically right and once i hit slash it will give me all the options and it will put it automatically right so that's your answer but extension wise you can go here and say browser so open in browser this particular uh, you can install that extension if you uh, don't have otherwise it's it's basically there in your system by default in the vs code okay um i am taking some other questions as of now uh, how to get recording i'll provide it can we save the value in the variable so i saved it in x so if you saw that example, uh, we saved it in uh, that value in X, right? In this example, we have saved it in here. Let X is equals to this, correct? You can do alert also. So you can, so alert is very simple code, alert. And in the alert, you can say, hi, user plus x i that thing but let's see this thing so what i'm doing is uh, going to the code if i click on submit now let me refresh this if i say here nitesh and if i click on submit see here it's showing me an alert okay so javascript has a lot of different functions you have to learn it understand it how it works and do the practical okay 